I'm here in San Francisco and today I'm gonna try the biggest rooftop in the city. It's one of the newest spots. It's called Choto Mate and it's Japanese and it has Peruvian food. And lucky for you, I'm taking you with me. Let's go. San Francisco has been getting a lot of heat lately for its declining condition. And while parts of that isn't wrong, there have been some really amazing new spots that have opened recently in hopes that more people will come into the city. So I'm actually going to go pick up Kevin right now at the airport. He's in SFO and he's landing there. He was actually in Mexico this past weekend for a bachelor party, but he decided to come home one day earlier to celebrate our two year anniversary with me. I'm really excited and we're going to go to this one restaurant that I've been wanting to go to for a while now. I think it opened in like October. It's called Chotomate. It's like the newest and probably biggest rooftop in San Francisco. So um, we're going to check it out. I hear good things about it and um oh shoot he just landed so i'm gonna head out there right now i'm late oh hello 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 can i have a hug yes of course oh it's so good to see you it's good to see you too how was your Back trip at home it was very fun very tiring very tiring I know. Are you, friends, are you sure you're able? friends can drink. Are you sure you're able to get some oh, more I, cocktails? Or are you way too hungover? No, I'm, for I'm good. I'm good. I, I, I didn't. I thought Kevin would be too hungover, but he was fine. We did a quick change and headed into the city. We ordered a few things, including rolls, black miso cod, a must, and fried rice. So I got this cocktail, it's called The Story of Jade. It's a refreshing cocktail, because I love refreshing drinks, and it has gin in here, it has ginger ale, lemon, I think, cucumbers, and wasabi, so it's got a little hint of spice in it. Mmm, definitely refreshing. Highly recommend. And I got a delicious Moscato wine. It's a sweet dessert wine because you are what you drink and I'm sweet. <laughs> the deluxe sashimi came out and it came with otoro, yellowtail, scallop, and unagi. And it was really tasty. I'm a big fan of unagi and otoro, so recommend this dish. And then we also ordered the spicy tuna crispy sushi, which was so good. I loved the crisp. It was perfect and delicious. That's crispy, that's so good. So good. Mm. Next up was the Torched Otoro Aburi Sashimi. Look at that, oh my gosh. Oof. This one was one of my favorites as well. If you already couldn't tell by my reaction here. Getting close up of this one, it's the black cod. I love black cod, it's like my obsession right now. So, super excited to try it. It's been Marinated for three days, they say. Woo! <laughs> there you go, look at me serving you. Quite the material. I can get used to this. Mmm, <laughs> hot sauce. You should try it with some Peruvian fried rice. This was the Peruvian fried rice and it looked good, but in reality, I wasn't really a big fan of this. It tasted kind of plain. Other things I also wasn't a fan of was the dragon roll, which was subpar at best. And the mochi ice cream was probably the most disappointing. I actually ended up sending it back. But overall, I'm glad we tried the spot. The ambiance was top notch. The vibes were there. It's a great date night spot and I'd give the food a seven out of 10. It wasn't the best, but solid overall, depending on which dishes you got. Now Kevin and I can leave with happy bellies. Is this a restaurant you'd be interested in trying? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.